Hey guys, I want to talk about three web trends to look out for in 2019. The first one has to be mobile first. And with Google indexing mobile first websites and giving you a better um, rank in search engines for your mobile website, making a website that starts with a mobile view and then works its way up to uh, desktop and through tablet and every other size in between is the appropriate way to build a website. This means more than just the look. This means the way you write content has to be able to be consumed on a small screen. So I would highly encourage you to rethink just how much information you're putting there and make sure that your copy is short and punchy and to the point and easily consumable on a mobile device. Just like a caveat to something that I would think about as a final kind of thought though is don't think because Google is ranking websites um, for being mobile first that you need to ignore your desktop uh, website. Uh, statistics that we saw last year saw that there's a split between people who use their phones and their desktop computers um, at certain hours during the day and for certain tasks like lots of online forms where they're lengthy meaty forms were more done um, on desktop and had a lower drop-off rate compared to people who, who even tried to do it on their mobile device. So definitely um, think about the experience from mobile up, but don't ignore your desktop. The next thing in 2019 is speed. So as I've mentioned, you know, you've got to write information that can be easily consumed You've got to remove as many plugins and things like that code in the background that could be bloating your site and actually slowing down page loads. And then any media that is too bloated, definitely smush that stuff, get rid of anything you don't need. People don't need a thousand images um, and things like that. Um, I would encourage you to rather you know have a video they will consume something if they want to consume something but getting information in front of them is the key thing so you know make sure that the performance of your site is a high priority it's got to be quick 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 people don't have time anymore you've got to get information in front of them quickly it's got to load quickly and uh, that way you'll be successful the last thing um, that I think will be popular this year is chatbots. I've heard a lot of people overseas going, oh, chatbots are out. I disagree. I've seen a huge shift of services and customer service that is kind of driving this chatbot service. While the bots can be unreliable, I've worked with them, it can be quite uh, tedious. There are some very successful companies who are doing amazing stuff with chatbots that if you, instead of developing your own chatbot, plugged into theirs and leveraged almost a collective, um, collective knowledge, uh, the chatbots can work really well. You would have to write your content for those chatbots though. And that requires you to really think about how that conversation would sound without freaking people out because you don't want something to sound too much like a robot and you don't want people to mislead people, I guess, and actually just say, you know, actually go and make them think that they're talking to a human but they're actually talking to a bot. So it's, it's finding that balance, definitely a big thing. I think lastly, as a bonus, though, I would say the big technology drive and is is the voice activated devices you've got to definitely be thinking about them when you write content um, for your website so make sure that it's in a similar kind of vein it's, it's very similar interaction as you would with the chatbots so I think I'll do a separate 
um, post all about the voice activated devices, but I would say that's probably like a bonus thing is, is keep your eye on that. So thanks for watching, subscribe, like, leave a comment and stay cool. Yep, still here.